surely type any given text, such as the complete works of William Shakespeare. In fact, the monkey would almost surely type every possible finite text an infinite amount of times. However, the probability that monkeys feeling the entire observable universe would type a single, a single complete work such as Shakespeare's Hamlet is so tiny that the chance of it occurring during a period of hundreds of thousands of orders of magnitude longer than the age of the universe is extremely low, but technically not zero. The theorem can be generalized to state that any sequence of events which has a non-zero probability of happening will almost certainly eventually occur if given enough time. And here in this article, there's an illustration of a chimpanzee probably not timing Hamlet. <laughs> okay. In this context, almost surely is a mathematical term meaning the event happens with probability one and the monkey is not an actual monkey but a metaphor for an abstract device that produces an endless random sequence of letters and symbols. One of the earliest instances of the use of the monkey metaphor is that of a French mathematician I'm going to mess this up, but Emile Borel in 1913, but the first instance may have even been earlier. <laughs> Variants of the theorem include multiple and even infinitely many typists, and the target text varies between an entire library and a single sentence. <laughs> traced the history of this idea from from Aristotle's on generation in corruption and Cicero's de natura de rom on the nature of the gods through Blaise Pascal and Jonathan Swift up to modern statements with her kind of excitements and typewriters in the early 20th century, Borrow and Arthur Eddington used the theorem to illustrate the time scales implied in the foundations of statistical mechanics. Statistical. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much the description. But um, there's a uh, there's a few more tabs here, but. This one over here, this tiny little section. Under the title, Actual Monkeys, it states, in 2002, lecturers and students from the University of Plymouth Media Lab Arts course used a $2,000 Euro grant from the Arts Council to study the literacy output of real monkeys. They left a computer keyboard in the enclosure of six syllabus of crested macaques in Paynton Zoo in Devon, England for a month with a radio link to broadcast the results on a website. consisting of the letter S. <laughs> the lead male begins striking the keyboard with a stone and other monkeys followed by soiling it. <clears throat> Mike Phillips, 
director of the university's Institute of Digital Arts and Technology, which could be abbreviated as IDAT, said that the artist-funded project was primarily performance art, and they had learned an awful lot from it. He concluded that monkeys are not random generators. They're more complex than that. They were quite interested in the screen. And they saw that they, when they typed a letter, something happened. There was a level of attention there. And uh, that's pretty much it under that tab. But Okay, we'll read uh, one more tab under In Popular Culture. The Infinite Monkey Theorem and its associated imagery is considered a popular and proverbial illustration of the mathematics of probability. Widely known to the general public because of its transmission through popular culture rather than through its formal education. This is helped by the innate humor stemming from the image of literal monkeys rattling away on a set of typewriters and is a popular visual gag. I can agree. A quotation attributed to a 1996 speech by Robert Wilnski stated, We've heard that a million monkeys at a million keyboards could produce the complete works of Shakespeare. Now, thanks to the internet, we know that is not true. The enduring widespread popularity of this theorem was noted in the introduction to a 2001 paper named Monkeys, Typewriters, and Networks, the Internet in the Light of the Theory of Accidental Excellence, end quote. In 2002, an article in the Washington Post said, plenty of people have had fun with the famous notion that an infinite number of monkeys with an infinite number of typewriters and an infinite amount of time could eventually write the works of Shakespeare. In 2003, a previously mentioned Arts Council founded experiment involving real monkeys and a computer keyboard received Software released Monkey Typewriter on the Microsoft Store. The software generates random text using the Infinite Monkey Theorem string formula. The software queries the generated text for user inputted phrases. However, the software should not be considered true to life representation of the theory. This is this is a more of a representation. No, no, no. This is a more practical presentation of the theory rather than a scientific model on how to randomly generate text. Well, guys, that's uh, that's pretty much it.